personally, you know, I've got a lot to prove. Um, I'm 22, I spent a bit of time at university. Uh, I've come in here, you know, as I said, chances don't come around very often, but, um, you know, I've, I've learned off some of the, the best above me. I've got Neil the Cock, who's kind of mentoring mentoring me now. Um, I've got Wiggy and Spencer ahead of me, all, all different nines uh, in our own rights, and um, I'm learning a lot off them. Um, but, you know, I go back to the monster game we just played. It's, it's easy for a, a halfback when your forwards are running hard off you. You know, when you've got boys enthusiastic, um, you know, coming into the game with loads of energy, you know, it makes it an easy job for a nine. And uh, as long as you get your core skills right and, and, and you take the, the gaps when they're there, you, you know, I, I had players running off me and, and so did uh, Tommy Whiteley at 10, and that made it easy for us. But, you no, know, I'm really looking forward to proving um, proving what I can do this weekend. You know, you look at Marrow, you look at Owen, you look at the Jamie Georges, you look at all of them, they've come through the same system. Um, and I think, you know, maybe Marrow um, and Owen are a bit of an exception because, you know, they jumped they, they jumped into the first team very quickly, but they did do their LV. Marrow, Marrow captained it two years ago. Um, and, you know, seeing that now, the things in rugby change very quickly and the opportunity is taken and, and now look at them, they're playing for England. Um, they've got loads of caps with Saracens and, and that, that inspires us all to kind of take these opportunities um, and prove to the coaches that we think we're ready. We train uh, week in week out with each other um, and we've we've had a kind of taster into, um, into this start of the LV because um, We've had the game against Munster just gone, um, and uh, it, it was a good result for us. First half, we had most of um, most of our you know full-time contracted players. Second half, a few um, newbies came on that, w that we had in to help us out to get a team out. But um, I think you know everyone's really looking forward to prove themselves. This club, you know, where it is in, in both the European and uh, the Premiership, you know to get your opportunity here um, you know they don't come around very often and I think LV for these players is and, and for myself is, is a chance to prove ourselves and um, so that's what we're looking to do. The academy here um, spend a lot of time together uh, a lot of them live together um, and uh, obviously as I said we, we train week in week out against first team and, and it gets competitive and, and you start to you know you uh, you have a connection with the team you're, you're in, you know, whether it be the bibs or the first team, and you're fighting for each other out there in the training field, and, and, and you see it on the pitch, um, and you saw it against Munster, you know. We came together as a group who hadn't had a lot of practice, um, and we just enjoyed it and loved playing for each other. You know, every little win we were celebrating on the pitch, um, and I think that's, you know, yeah, a few of the lads live together, and, and we have a good muck around at the club together, but I think that's why we're so close, because we train week in, week out with each other. You know, if this team, comes together and understands each other and, and um, is playing for each other like we were on, on Friday night, I think we'll have a good day.